Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath and uh, today's video is the anti-fungal drugs. Okay. See, my dear students, there is a infections are different types. We know that bacterial infections, fungal infections, viral infections, like that many infectious diseases are there. So today's topic is anti-fungal drugs used to treat the fungal infections. Okay. And if you see the fungal infections are very interesting, fungal infections. See, fungal infections are very simple on one hand. Another hand, fungal infections are very dangerous. It will lead to death also. I will tell you the example for a simple fungal infection. That is a dandruff. Very simple. It is a friendly for 90% of the people are suffering with the dandruff. That is as per the survey. See, this dandruff is example for simple fungal infection. And this here I have shown ketoconazole, one beautiful shampoo. This is ketoconazole, 1% is enough okay, uh, to kill all the uh, dandruff what is present on your hair. So if you are suffering with the dandruff, go and purchase the nizoral and keep in your mind ketoconazole is an antifungal drug, 1% is enough. Right? Okay. On the another side, fungus, some of the fungal infections are very dangerous. It may leads to death also. Example is black fungus. See, most of the people who covered, recovered from the coronavirus, they immediately, they suffered with the uh, black fungus. See, this black fungus is very dangerous. It leads to death also. That's why fungal infections are not easy. Not easy. Don't take it as light. Don't take as light. Okay? Right. Uh, see here, fungal infections are two types. Keep in your mind. My dear students, keep in your mind. Topical fungal infections, systemic fungal infections. The name itself very clearly indicates. Topical fungal infections, fungi attacks only on the body, external parts like a skin, hair, nail. Fungi will not enter into the blood. Topical antifungal agents like ointments, so cream, so those are more than enough and need not to be take any antifungal tablets. Okay. See here, topical antifungal drugs. These are the drugs used to treat only the topical fungal infections. Okay. Now we come to the systemic fungal infection is the black fungus. Example. See, fungi attacks on the body internal part. See here, entire ball, eyeball, not only <coughs> on the surface of eye, entire eyeball. Inside total eyeball is suffering with the black eye. Your eye vision will be demolished, decreased. Okay. So, uh, fungi will enter into the blood. Okay. Need to take a systemic antifungal tablets. You have to take. If you are applying only on the surface, ointments, not enough here because your fungal infection is systemic. So, you have to take systemic antifungal agents, drugs used to treat only the systemic fungal infections okay right see this is my mobile app you can be download it from the google play store okay after downloading it open it and all my presentations are available in the pdf format all syllabus b bombs m bombs pharma d all courses all years will be uploaded okay right already some important subjects already uploaded and open the store option see here see the store option there you can find all my courses, okay, all my videos available in the PDF format, okay. And this is my about YouTube channel. Go to the playlist option. See here, playlist option. Here I have arranged all my videos, okay. All my videos I have arranged in the form of a subject wise. Each subject, again, each subject, again, if you click on each subject, you will get a topic wise option, okay, right. See, this is your syllabus and these are the contents what I have covered. This is more than enough for your regular examination for B pharmacy, Pharma D, M pharmacy. Okay. Contents covered. Okay. Right. See, antifungal drugs. Yeah, definition. These are the drugs used to superficial. That is a topical and deep. That is systemic. Deep. Deep fungal infections are called as a antifungal drugs. Right. And classification is very important, very, very, very important. 50% of the syllabus comes behind us, if you know this one. 
anti antibiotics first one see here antibiotics generally we are using to treat the bacterial infection but here some of the drugs some of the antibiotics we are using to treat the anti fungal infection also this is very very important in the examination they will ask you which are the antibiotics used to treat the anti fungal infection like that a twist one twist they will ask in the examination polyenes see here polyenes antibiotics a b c is there polyenes see polyenes means highly double poly many e double bond highly double bonded structures are there amphotericin b nystatin amycin okay next echinocandins see here echinocandins echinocandins are semi synthetic okay having a complex very big complex cyclic lipopeptide structure very important low toxic than amb amphotericin b it is a low toxic than and heterocyclic benzofuran griseofilvin have a heterocyclic ring that's why this heterocyclic benzofuran ring also there anti metabolite see name itself indicate anti metabolite metabolite is active here not the parent compound if you are taking flu cysteine cytosine if metabolites in the body then it becomes active okay and azole we will explain you azole uh, in the next slide azole imidazole triazole both are there two are there see in the imidazole again topical is there <coughs> systemic is also there and allylamine terpina in the examination they will ask you show what is a topical antibiotic topical anti fungal agent what is a systemic anti fungal agent definitely they will ask in the examination all competitive examination that's why you have to be note all these points allylamine allyl terpinafil allylamine see here simple stable unsaturated amine see here amine unsaturated double bond is there it is a very simple structure very stable okay and other topical agent like a tolnaftate and etc benzoic acid etc and all that each one we will see see i told no imidazole and triazole see name itself indicates triazole three are there one three one two three one two three triazole three azole means you know it is a nitrogen group imidazole one two imidazole imitation so one nitrogen imitation of another nitrogen imidazole imidazole has a non adjacent see here here adjacent is there here <coughs> non adjacent nitrogen atom on its chemical structure triazole has a adjacent see here side by side is there has a two nitrogen atom it has a three nitrogen atoms okay and we will see the only important one this is more than you know need not to be re read a very each and every anti fungal agents need not to be okay read only important we will cover that more than enough for your regular exam amphotericin b amb structure it is having a macro cyclic ring macro means very big cycle see here cycle ring is there cycle is there and it consists of a two sides side one side two side one this side see here all oh groups are there number of oh 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 groups are there hydrophilic hydrophilic region this is polyol alcohol polyol alcohol group region is there and hydrophobic region here see this side hydrophobic region number of conjugated double bond double bond double bond double bond it is a hydrophobic hydrophobic this is a hydrophilic hydrophobic and uh, polar in nature one micro amine sugar is also there it is also called as a polar amino sugar amine sugar see amphotericin b is obtained from streptomyces <coughs> nodosis it is a unstable in aqueous medium that's why injections are available in the powder form powder dry powder injections are available see this is a lyophilized see here lyophilized dried water is removed completely lyophilized okay and one filter they will provide you so you have to dissolve with uh, this water okay first then you have to be suck you suction into the this one by using this filter like this filter because solid particles you are going to be filter it okay hence available you see this is very very important bit unstable in aqueous media uh, that's why liquid injections have a stability problem 
Hence, it is available in the lyophilized injection. Mechanism of action, amphotericin binds with the ergosterol, which is present in the fungal cell membrane. It forms a pores, holes in the uh, fungal membrane. So, inside cell contents will be leaked out. So, it leads to fungal death. Very simple. Ergosterol. Amphotericin B, anti-fungal uh, anti spectrum. It is effective against a wide range of fungi, including a... Uh, see, black fungus, amphotericin sales is increased, boosting like anything in the black fungus, in the days of black fungus. Histoplasma, capsulum, all these are the microorganisms. See, black fungus, very, very amphotericin is very important. See, some uh, amphotericin toxicities. See, here I have arranged amphotericin, amphotericin, okay? <coughs> B, amphotericin B, anemia, mucospasm, lepetis, okay, pharmacokinetics, it is administered by slow intravenous infusion, okay, uh, extensively bound to plasma protein, it does crosses the placenta uh, and uh, interactions, uh, this is drug-drug uh, interactions, okay, in case of fungi sensitive to both placocytes and supraditive, supraditive means very good, see these are the dangerous, that's why I given in the red color, this is a Positive, super, 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. Uh, flu cytosine, it has a supra additive. That means that super action along with the amphotericin B in case of fungi sensitive to both. <coughs> Keep in your mind, right? And the nistatin, another drug, source streptomyces, now is a mechanism of action, property same as that of amphotericin. Bumper offer to you, same because. And hence, it is used only locally, superficial skin infection. It is a very toxic, very important bit. It is very toxic, nystatic. Okay. That's why we are using as a topical cream. This is the fungus, streptomyces, now say. Okay. Uh, oral root, not are very less absorbed. Nausea, bad tastes. They use it to treat the monilia, virginities, ointment cream, corneal, corneal. Uh, cutaneous candidates, dermatitis, and griseophilin, very popular drug. It is obtained from Pencilium notatum. So, Pencilium means antibacterial. So, don't uh, think your mind here, griseophilin is obtained, fungus. Pencilium griseophilin, fungi static, it stops. Fung not fungicidal, fungi static, it is a effective against, not effective against, and it is a pharmacokinetics, less soluble. Dr. Reddy's laboratory is available, Gris OD, bumps daily. Gris, griseophilmin, OD once daily. It griseophilmin binds to tubulins. Tubulins, uh, uh, it forms a mitotic spindle formation that resulting in the inhibition of the separation of daughter nuclei. So that's why fungi growth will be stopped. So fungi division will not be occurred. Okay, right. Imidazole and triazole. See, same table I have told you. Topical and systemic, very, very important. Uh, nowadays, these are widely used, more extensively used, uh, broad spectrum antibiotic, these are broad spectrum antifungal, okay, dermatophysis, candida, fungi can cause a deep mycosa, uh, four imidazoles are topical, one, two, three, four, four imidazole, these are triazole, all triazoles are systemic, imidazole are topical, see, keep in your mind our famous, our first slide, ketoconazole having a both topical and systemic, you see, imidazole and triazole having same mechanical action, it kills the P450 enzyme. Okay, so lansterol will not be converted into ergosterol. Without ergosterol, see, inhibition of ergosterol, disruption of fungal cell membrane, contents will be leaked out, so fungal death will happen. Ergosterol is generally essential for the cell wall of the fungi. And the last, we came to the last slide, that is a key point, clotrimacazole, excellent for topical ringworm infection. Use it to treat the athlete's feet, okay? Automysis, vaginal candidates, and meconazole, highly effective. Good penetration power is there, meconazole, okay? Like all these are the diseases, and a deep mycosis, ketoconazole, more soluble. See, this is very important bit, more soluble at lower pH. That's why it results in higher absorption from acidic stomach. Interactions, antacids increases the, see, antacids increases the pH of stomach. That's why it decreases the ketoconazole. Very, very important bit, okay? So we will end my session here.